Whoops. Oh, for goodness sakes. My name's Old Guy, Waster of Arrows. I'm a professional arrow waster in this game. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go back to Pillars of Creation and, uh, excuse me, continue questing there. I have um, set down actually three uh, flame altars. Uh, so this one is down low, in, in, <coughs> excuse me, down in the, you know, the lower part. This one's kind of up north. There's another passage that leads out of the volcano area. Um, so I put one there, and then this one is up high. This is where we came out the last time, uh, and then there's another passage that comes out right over here, uh, but, uh, but but this gives us access to the upper area. So what I want to do is I want to, um, you know, we don't really need this altar there. I could, I could pick that guy up. I want to keep this one here because that's that, that area that we might end up building uh, a home in? Or is it this? Oh, no, it's this one here. So, you know what? We don't actually really need this one here either. I don't... I have a feeling I probably am not going to need to do a whole lot more farming of scrap metal at this point since we're getting ready, you know, to find an iron mine here fairly soon. Um. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go pick up this flame altar and... Um, this flame altar. So that way it, you know, it frees those two up for us. And I also want to, I want to make three workbenches so that we can set those down next to those three flame altars. And then that will allow us to repair in the field without having to come all the way back here. Um, another thing that I did, where are we at? Yeah. Um, I, I went ahead and uh, set up like a little garden here and planted a bunch of flax and a little bit of chamomile, which is not quite ready. And I also uh, did some seeds for the uh, Ruibus. Ruibus? Riobas? Riobas? I don't know, however the hell you say that. Um, so we can get some more of that going. But I also picked a bunch more of this too when I was setting up the flame altars. So let's just stick this in here real quick. Let's put snapping on. These need a little more room because they grow into big trees. Um, I also... Got some more uh, red bell peppers and some sage I picked up, which is used for um, uh, intellect. But I can't plant any of that stuff yet because I need more of the, you know, the ancient bone meal stuff. But I got nine bell peppers and two sage leaves, uh, plus 33 of the rooibos. Oh, and sugar cane too. Uh, so we got all that stuff, but we can't plant any of that. Or, or we can't turn any of that into seed, I should say, until we find this fossilized bone dust. So, so I looted a little bit of that, but I don't know how you actually obtain that, but I'm sure we'll figure it out, you know, as we begin questing in the um, Pillars of Creation area. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll set those two things down. Um, uh, well, I think between those two shroud flasks we'll be okay as far as that goes. And I might just use these cheapo arrows on something easy to kill. We have 283 copper arrows and five of the bone arrows. Let's make a couple more. Uh, let's make another hundred of those. Um, I could make 50 of these now, but let's wait until on the you know hold off on those until we actually have a supply of bronze. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think we're ready to go. Um, oh, there was one other thing I wanted to show you. 
I'm not planning on doing two-handed, but you never know, right? We can respec. I did find this really cool um, arrow striker mace. Um, it was in a chest back in the volcano area. Here's a quick clip from that. So, yeah, I'm just going to hang on to this for now um, in case we do decide to try to hand it out at one point, uh, at some point. All right, very good. So I'm going to run up, grab these other uh, two flame altars that we don't need uh, to keep in place, and then we will head over to the Pillars of Creation. All right, so we are at the flame altar in the lower section. Let's put one of these guys down. That should work. Cool. So now we have a place to repair. Let's head to this northern one next. Put this here, and then lastly, let's go back up top, and then that's where we're going to actually start uh, doing some questing and some exploration of this new territory. All right. Yeah, so this is... um. Just right over there is where we came out the first time uh, at the top of the uh, the volcano area, or the inner sanctum as it's called. We got a little uh, Vuka village over here. And this tunnel here is just, um, in fact, yeah, this chest right here is where I found the that two-handed. We might as well reload it again. Okay, we got a level 16 hunter's bow. And then, you know what, since we're here, we might as well go grab another one of these, because we might want to have more than one. So the last time I was here... What is that? That's new. A light burst. Magical ammunition that releases a flash of light bright enough to push back enemies around the caster. That's cool. Okay, yeah, that's new. Um, and somehow or another, we got a fossilized bone. Oh, we must have just looted it out of there. There's some more fossilized bone. Nice. And another greater thingamadoodle. And some copper. Okay, so anyway, the last time we came through here... Uh, we went all the way up this way and then out the tunnel up by this tree. But if you turn that way then and go through that tunnel, then you come out by the VUCA camp where I put my um, my flame altar. But we'll just go out this way. Okay, so what we want to do first... There's some sugar cane. Let's go grab that. Um, I really want, would like to figure out... Oh, you know what I bet we have to do? I bet we have to put this in the grinder to make the fossilized bone powder that we need for planting stuff. Okay, so we just need to figure out how to find the fossilized bones. Probably my guess is that we will come across like this big ginormous dino skeleton or something and we can harvest that but we might as well go ahead and just pick you know any of this stuff as we come across it so we have a, a, a quantity of it even before we can start planting it hopefully by the time we're done with today's episode um excuse me we'll have a um supply of that bone figure out where the heck it's at yikes that was dangerous that could have gone all the way over the other side and down into the the wild shroud yonder. Alright, uh... 
Let's grab this, these peppers. Um, I don't think we need any more of that. We've got quite a bit already, plus I've planted a whole bunch. Um, so yeah, let's not worry about that. Alright, I don't see anything else down that way. Now, can we get back over here? If not, we'll just use the flame altar. Yeah, we got it. We got this. I did cut down one of these ginormous trees, and it just gives you normal wood. It doesn't give you any kind of special wood like the big trees in the uh, Revel would do. Ouch, that kind of hurt. That just gives plant fiber. I'm not exactly sure how I got that sage. I mean, I picked something, but I don't remember what it was. Yeah, no, it's not it either. Okay. Grab that. That goes back down into that valley where we 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 killed the uh, the hairball boss guy, and has that caravan quest. But I've never I, I couldn't figure out how to activate that caravan quest. Let's just pop in here really quick. All right, we were in here before, and I think there. There was a, maybe another boss in here? Uh, but it says it's a passage. And it could potentially lead us right to here. So yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and go through here. One of those spike traps. I didn't even see that there. Fortunately, we didn't fall like all the way into it. Um, let's see. I only have three of these, but yeah, let's use it because we got to see what the hell we're doing, especially with those spike traps around. I'm gonna. I am gonna gather all the hide we come across because I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to need that in quantity when we start making leather. Okay, let's go up through this way. Lots of copper in here. Yep, looks like that's how you get out the other side. See anything up on that platform? That's something we can loot. Yeah, it's uh, chicken meat or bird. Yeah, raw bird meat. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious, those things. There's one right there. They are so well disguised. There's a, a flame altar, and there's a bird. It's like a peacock kind of thing. I can hit it. Um, here, I'm wasting expensive copper arrows. There we go. So this is how we farm feathers and bird meat, in addition to pulling it off the VUCAs. And there's quite a bit of sugar cane here. Once we get the thing for our cook, she can make uh, the better food for us. Don't 
Don't go off the cliff. Yeah, went off the cliff. These are kind of hard to hit. Okay, did we get two sparks from that? Three sparks, even better. What's better than two sparks? Three sparks. Yes, indeed. Okay. Good lord, these things are a pain in the ass to kill. <laughs> Alright. Maybe maybe we should be meleeing melee in these. There we go. Yeah. We want that stuff, of course, for the better food once we get to the point where we can make it. So we should have a nice little collection of produce once we get to the point where we have the, the thing oh, that we need for the farmer, which was the seed... Oh, okay. I think I came up here once. Oh, maybe not. But further down, there's like a little ledge that you can climb up with your grappling hook. That's probably back more over this way. Yeah, I think it's that ledge down there. We're pretty darn high up here. All right, let's um get Let's look at our map here. Um Hmm. See, I thought that passage would take us here, but it took us south, not east. So why don't we... Hmm. Why don't we go here? I'm not entirely sure if that place we have to go is... Um, up or down is a thing, so. So let's get, go around this way. And also, I want, that's the tanning station, right? Well, we're actually close to the blacksmith, uh, blacksmith request. So let's, uh, set that as the waypoint. And... Blacksmith request. Since that's the closest one we're, you know, that we're to, let's go ahead and do that one first. And it looks like it's starting to get dark too, which sucks. A little shroud area down there. Man, these guys, these guys hit you quick. It's probably a good idea for us to, yeah, you know what I might actually do? I think I'm going to go home and sleep the night, get repaired, and then I'll meet you guys back here in the morning. Change my mind. We are so close to this place. Let's just do it. I'm having such a hard time killing these things. Oh, we hit. Oh, okay, we got it there. Okay, 
we need um some heals. Okay. Oh, you're a scavenger. You're not even a Vuka. Oh, interesting. Um, I really don't want to. Oh, what? Yeah, let's just salvage that. I don't want to use another one of my light potions yet. Okay, so this is the Blazing Rock outpost. If uh, we have to fight a bunch of enemies, should probably buff up, except for that. Hopefully, we don't have to stay here too long. Rafa, you said they'd be here on Monday by noon. Well, I waited for ages to pick up that parcel for Oswald Anders. Prepare a wagon and everything, since you said it it, it it'll be heavy, all for nothing. Tell the Conway brothers to send a raven when they get here. Although, if they tried to cut through Umber Hollow, we might shirk them for good. In my defense, I told them not to take that route. It might be their last. Okay, so this is one of those things where they send us on a goose chase um, to find that. All right. Uh, let's grab this. Got a chest here. Explosive powder ball net. An explosive with a standing power that can be thrown. Oh. Nifty. Okay. Got a chest up here. Executioner's axe. Alright, yeah, I am going to go home. I'll meet you guys back here in the morning. Alright guys, we're back at the base. I wanna actually wanna try something here. Can we Yes, fossilized bone dust. That's what we want. Okay, cool. So that'll make three per, and then we can use that to make seeds of the the, the better crops that we have. That's cool, but we'll worry about that later. Let's go ahead and sleep and then head on out again. So We've got this green stuff. Does that give us... we got to find some kind of mint mushroom thingamadoodle. No, that just gives us dirt. Okay. Is there... something that we can pick for mint mushrooms? Because I think somewhere I heard... I don't remember exactly how, where, how or where... I heard we get that in the shroud. What is that? Oh, that's just plant fiber. Is it this thing? Oh, that's it. Nice. War banner at Carpenter. Mint mushroom meat. Okay, so yeah, we need this for some recipes, and we also need it for um, uh, our, to upgrade our flame. What happens if we cut this down? Mint mushrooms. Beautiful. Okay. So that gives us seven. All right, we'll be uh, we'll you know be on the lookout for that. Uh, do we want to go down here for a minute? There's a shit ton of bugs down here. Yeah, I don't see any compa- Oh! These guys fly? They fly! Oh no!
They're easy to kill, though, at least. Wow, they fly. Okay. They still just give critter parts, though. That's scary. Grab those peppers. Um, all right, so let's continue with the blacksmith tools quest, since that's what we left off with. Uh, we already went up in that tower and got a chest at the top. Oh, almost stepped on that trap. What's this say? Fierce creatures, the horror, caught in a rainstorm. We were simply searching for a place to stay dry and rest. We heard them scratching and growling around in this cave. They must have smelled us because they attacked unprovoked. One of them ripped Kristoff's head clean off his body. His body dropped to the ground like a wet sack of grain, and his club slipped out of his hands before he had a chance to use it. The beast was covered in thick, matted fur with huge tusks jutting from its mouth, and when it roared, the sound was so strange and ear-shattering. Vukar! I will be haunted by it for the rest of my days. Yeah, I think we've already ran into that guy a few times. Okay. That's a bullshit bomb. Anything in here? Does not look like it. Okay. So let's look at the map here. Uh, what's... Oh, spider. Get out of here. Anything else in here? Those uh, little leather trunk thingies there usually give some scrap metal. Um, let's get this pepper up here. All right, now um, we want to go basically due east, and let's set that as a waypoint. Here we go. I bet you that flame shrine is up on top of that hill there. Wow, that's a long ass ways down. Hmm. Okay, I don't think we're gonna be getting over there from here. Um, yeah, damn. There's a spire over that way. Well, maybe we should put that quest on hold for the moment and look at some of the other ones. So, yeah, so it's going to lead us... It has three more pages. Where's Hearts of Iron at? That's that's way the hell over there. Okay, we're not doing that anytime soon. Um, Almanac of Seedlings. Where's this at? That's kind of down to the south. We could go after that in the tanning station. Yeah, why don't we do that? I'm going to go back here and just repair our stuff, and then we'll head south. Okay, let's go. Look at that thing. Bet you could get a lot of twigs out of that. Oh, 
Watch out for the, their traps. They don't have the little blessing thingy in there. I don't know. I can't understand why they don't want to bless us after we killed them. Doesn't make sense. Oh, look who's cornered. Uh, well, look who was cornered. Wait, where does this go? Not really anywhere. Okay, what's up with this, um, this thing? It's got sugar cane inside. Hmm, I don't know. All right, let's just go. If we can snipe those guys before they start moving, then they're actually not that hard to kill. There we go. Yeah, that's the thing. We just need to be a little more sneaky with them is all. Let's also get a sneaky sneak off on this tiger. I really wish the game would tell us what these creatures were called, you know? What their names were. There's more tigers around. I hear them. Oh, are you stuck in the in the mesh? Yep. We need to replenish our food here. The other ones are good. Uh, we have Elixir Buff and Flask of the Fiddle also still active, so we're good to go there. There's another tiger stuck in a mesh. Can't loot that one. We have some kind of a village or something over here along the way to where we're going. Any bad guys around here? Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Is that a well? Yes, it is. It's a different looking type of well. Oh, dude. Not nice. That was rude. Why did it have us? Why is this room locked? What's hidden in here? Not really anything down there. Usually, when a chest is buried, you find it right close to the surface. So, yeah, I don't know. Don't know why that room was locked. I'm not going to loot those things. There's a chest. Oh, nice. We got some bronze arrows and a light flask. I'll take both of those things. Thank you very much. Bones. Another light flask. Beautiful. Okay. All right, let's keep moving here. I don't see really anything else here significant. I 
got a tiger. Little sneaky sneak shot. Uh, there might be another one around though. This is the, another den of theirs. Get the jump on him. Okay. I keep hearing like a bird squawking, but I can never find it. It's probably just a part of the ambient noise. I don't think it's the little chicken thingies either. Because I hear it even when those things aren't around. Gotcha, sucker. Alright, what is this business? That's a slide that we're not going to be able to get up. Hmm. We have to go that way. Of course we do. Let's look at the map. There's a flame shrine over there, too. Okay, so we got to figure out how to get up there. Let's go this way. Uh, are we expected to cheese up there, or do we, is there a legit way to get up? Let's go around here. He's buried in the dirt. So this is the land of the VUCA. Seems to be a lot of them around. There we go. Raven's Keep. Okay. Location reached. Okay, so we just have to find it somewhere in this keep. Oh, good. We got a spawn point. That's always a good thing. Let's grab this. Let's go up this ladder here. What was that? Oh shit! Ah! Quick, take one of these. I don't think that guy can climb ladders. Okay, thank goodness. Wow, okay. Um, let's take this. Where did he go? Hold still, man. Wasting arrows on him. Okay, now where's that other guy? There he is. Oh, damn it. I blinked right into his sword there. Got him. Whew. Guy's a bit of a pain in the ass to fight in a close quarters situation. Open the front gate. I don't know why, but we just did. We did because we could. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Is there, before we go into this next area, I want to go back up here for a minute. 
there anything in here? <laughs> Excuse me. No, nope, doesn't look like it. There's this. Alright. Ravens Keep Log, day 147. Number of inmates, 53. Oh, this is a prison. Another revolt today. Inmate Lupa roused them up. Spat into the quartermaster's face during lunch. Left a burn mark on his cheek. Shroud is creeping closer. Don't know how much longer the guards want to stick around if this abuse continues. How interesting. Did that give us a new quest? Hearts of Iron. It doesn't look like it, so it's just just lower. I'm not seeing anything to loot. Okay. Got a uh, thingy here. Oh, okay. Well, that took care of it. There's a door there. Let's go ahead and pop one of these. A way in there. That guy there. Oh. Eat an arrow. Tasty arrow. We've got to find a button for that. Okay. Uh, well, let's go in here first. Right here. I think that's the first time I've seen a lever used. Kind of cool. Anything in here we can loot. There's a bunch of stuff we could probably salvage if we wanted to. That's that door. Uh... I don't think that goes anywhere. Okay. Let's go in here. Well, we'll have a nice supply of arrows once we get to the point where we can start making the bronze arrows. I mean, uh, sorry, feathers, once we get to the point where we can make the bronze arrows. That's what my brain told my mouth to say, but my mouth basically just did whatever the hell it wants to do, which it does from time to time. All right, let's go through here. This is quite the place, man. Let's go straight back here first. Okay. Fossilized bone arrows. Looks like that's it. We're over here. We'll go this way next. Also, let's replenish this. And replenish this. Oops. Oh, for goodness sakes. My name's Old Guy, Waster of Arrows. I'm a professional arrow waster in this game. Iole. Okay, there's a button for in there. Okay, what do we got in here? Not really anything that I can see. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, 
There we go. Okay, did we just let that dude out? Probably. What's over here? Not really anything. Okay. Nothing in there. Okay, we needed that button to open that. There's a chest in that room that we just opened up. Doesn't appear to be anything significant in here. We'll go up those stairs later. Fancy stone block. Beautiful. All right, we learned a new building material. It's uh, probably this stuff right here. Very cool. Very, very cool. Did we go in here already? I think we did. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for at least down below. There's some stuff up above. And we lost our thing. I'm going to have to spend some time at night just gathering up a bunch of fireflies because it's the glow dust that I ran out of for making those things. What's this for? Oh, it's a backwards ladder. That doesn't do us any good, man. And yeah, again, I know there's a lot of stuff I could be salvaging in here, but... I don't really want to take the time to do that right now. Oh, that's you. I don't suppose I can hit you through that, can I? Oh, I can. That's hacks. Hmm. I wonder if he just had, like, his arm sticking through. What if we... Where did that thing go? I don't know how powerful this explosive is. We're going to find out here. <laughs> that, put, that definitely put a dent in him. Um, okay, hold on. Let's get rid of that and that. So we should be able to just... Oh, shit! Okay. Some scrap metal. Another ladder that's turned backwards. Okay, there's a note in there. Nothing behind that door. Okay, let's go see what the note has to say. going on in here okay i will reach you lupa i could no longer wait with bated breath i traveled to umber hollow to confront the contractor at knife point he told me that you'd escape out of the frying pan and into the fire he said you'd be, you'd been arrested and locked up in raven's keep do not worry his throat is slit his body cold he won't bother our family again they all wither and die the same mirrored pieces of the same puzzle raven's keep cannot hold you sister I will set you free. Stay sharp and ready for my rescue. We shall have our revenge and unite this land. And it's ominous. Okay. Um. Lupa's a scalper. Lupa's a. Oh, Lupa's a. Uh. A furball guy. I don't know why the hell I can't remember their name. Vuka. He's a Vuka. Uh, let's look at this for a second. So we have 40 damage here, 37 damage here. Cutting and piercing. If we upgraded this... Poison. Yeah, I still I still like this for the health benefit. So... 108 on the... Um, let's get rid of that, too. On the, on the uh, runes, though, which isn't bad. 
also get rid of that. Okay, so let's not step in that thingy. Does this... Does this just go back around to that other room? I don't think it does. So before we go into this cave, let's just open this up real quick and see what's in here. All right. Okay, we, are, we already came this way. Gotcha. Okay. This is fun, man. I am really enjoying this game, you guys. Very much so. And I said, look what I just about did. Oh, jeez. That's funny. It's funny because I didn't step into it. There's some more of that light stuff. So is, is it, this is a weapon, right? Here, let's, let's just try this. Heal light burst. Okay, let's try this on this guy down here. Oh, is that an AoE thing? Oh, it's an AoE and kickback thing. Oh, he's got lightning. All right, that's interesting. All right, let's put this back to heal. That everything? Yeah. Man. I want did they make a larger one of these that lasts longer? That'd be nice. Seem like they run out really quick. Grab the hide. That high too. Here's a chest. Crackling one. All right, we have a silver storm wand for 34 damage. <coughs> this wand is definitely stronger and better because um, it's a blue. So I think we're gonna go ahead and swap these out, and then we'll salvage that. Anything over here? Does not appear to be. That would have been a good place to hide something. All right, we got another dead, dead guy there. We're outside now. This is quite the long quest here, man. Oh, one of these deals. Yeah, we went across one of these before, but it kind of didn't take us anywhere. Um, any chance I can... Hold on a second. Did we, did we find the, no, we didn't. Where's this at again? Oh, it's back that way. Okay. So this is what we're currently trying to go after. Wait a minute. How did that happen? <laughs> Step quest. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right, guys. Well, in that case, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. I'm going to go back home, do the usual and then uh, when we start up the next episode, I will meet you. Um, I will meet you somewhere along the lines of continuing these quests. So it just kind of depends upon which one we we get to first. Let's read this. Glory to Matron Lupa. We broke through the wall. Lupa simply blew the stone apart behind the rubble. There really was a cave. We flung ourselves right into a group of VUCA, but the matron, in her blighted rampage, 
She nearly skinned them alive. She tames all beasts. They cower and flinch in front of her infamy. We won't stop here. We'll claim the world. Raven's Keep is just beginning. Lupus sister will take Surat's rest whilst we build a layer of our own to eclipse Umber Hollow. Glory to Matron Lupa. All right, if you say so. Okay, guys, yeah, so we're going to wrap up the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Ciao. Thank you.